one of my favorite ingredients in the world, sums up food at its finest and most prestigious, caviar. Very decadent, very nutty, very creamy. Mm. And it's bursting with flavor, like individual pearls exploding in your mouth. Absolutely delicious. But classic wild caviar is under threat. Sturgeon in the Caspian Sea are overfished and close to extinction. So the hunt is on to find alternatives fast. So I'm looking for something sustainable and affordable to blow beluga out of the water when it comes to taste and texture. I'm not going to find it in fucking Knightsbridge. I've come to Andalusia in southern Spain, which for the past 25 years has hidden one of the Mediterranean's best kept secrets. If this caviar is as good as a real McCoy, the proper beluga, then this could be a fucking amazing find. Here in Spain. It's the water flowing through these mountains that led the owners of Rio Frio Caviar to set up a farm here after a seven year search for the perfect source. Export manager and fellow Brit Keith Jaggard will be showing me around. Hi, Gordon. How are you? Nice to meet you, right? Now, are you on half term? You look about 12. <laughs> now, I didn't think it's possible to farm sturgeon. Why here in the middle of fucking Spain of all places? The temperature of the water is 13 to 15 degrees right. all year round, and that's because we have the source of the spring at 200 metres away from where we're standing. Drinkable? Drinkable and natural. Which is a benefit to the sturgeon? Of course. So, are we talking about as good as, wild, or better? I, I'd say better. It's You've got a big pair of cojones, you know that? A big pair of cojones. Huh? <laughs> yes, I have. Fuck me. <laughs> First, Keith's taking me to see the tiddlers. That's so ugly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so delicious and delicate. Yeah. But it'll be eight years before we can tell the little boys from the big money girls, who can be anything up to the age of 20 before their caviar's ready for harvesting. Oh, God, they're everywhere. But first, I've got to catch one. If you can, grab the head. <laughs> Prehistoric distant relatives of the shark these big mothers are almost 60 kilos, and to be examined for caviar, they're wrestled out of the water by hand. Okay. Let's get it on. It's absolutely beautiful. So how old is this one? This one will probably be between 18, 19 years old. For nearly half that time, the valuable eggs in this fish have been developing. Their size and condition are checked using ultrasound. You can just about see every single egg. And it's honestly identical to going with your wife for an ultrasound. Little KY jelly robbing round, <laughs> looking for the little heartbeat. And oh shit, there's two heartbeats there, you've got twins. Except here we're looking at what, four and a half to five kilos, kilos of, of caviar. caviar. The trick is to catch the eggs at their optimum quality before the fish spawns naturally. But this beauty isn't quite ready yet. Possibly six months, really? we'll, we'll give it another, another scan right. uh, and see how it's getting on. If we just try and turn her around. Yeah, my okay. God. Oh shit. Okay. There go. And then just slowly push it off, just, just very, very calmly. When the sturgeon are ready, they're killed and sent for a clinical extraction. This looks like a fucking operating theatre. Hola. Hola. Today, Chief Sturgeon Surgeon Javier is entrusting me with the scalpel. Is that too deep? No, 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 no keep going, going, keep going. That's good, just keep going. A little yeah. bit. That's perfect, then... just keep going. Okay, let me see. Oh shit, I can see caviar. Yeah, it starts very far down. Well, I wish you'd told me. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Look at all that caviar in there. Look at that. Is that all the way up there? Mm. My God. Okay, so you can actually see. Look at that. Jesus Christ. You can see the amount of eggs there. Look okay. at all the caviar. <laughs> it's like a bathtub full of fucking caviar. How much is in there? I'm surprised you haven't got a security guard for each sturgeon in there. You know that? <laughs> yeah, we do. Underwater diver. <laughs> yeah, we do. We don't have security guards, but we have big dogs. Do you mind if a little taste, please? No, go ahead. Unbelievable. It does need some salt on there. A little in terms bit of flavour. Fucking hell. It's extraordinary. It's like a treasure. I couldn't wait to learn how to transform these freshly harvested eggs into the delicacy I know and love. So, shall we process? Process? Yeah. Fuck me. No, I'm going back home. Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Fuck that. First, the eggs are separated from the membrane. So you're just gently rubbing it, holding the membrane. And we're not bursting the eggs like this. No. That is beautiful. What's that worth in there now, Keith? Talking well over £10,000. Oh, my God. They are then rinsed in cold, salted spring water <laughs> before sea salt is added to dramatically enhance the caviar's flavour. You do. I don't want to fuck up. No, £10,000 worth of fucking caviar. OK. 
Fingers in and just last one, yeah. Faster. Faster. Okay. It's very creamy. For me, it doesn't need any more salt. That's delicious. Yeah. Seasoned to perfection and matured for four months, the caviar in this tin alone will be worth three and a half grand. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Oh, Again. Pretty good. Thank Gracias. You. This stuff really does give wild caviar a run for its money. And I've got the perfect recipe to show it off. Right, lobster and potato salad with the most amazing mayonnaise and that special farmed caviar. Tie two lobster tails with string. As the lobster cooks, tail stays nice and straight. Poach for six to seven minutes. Bay leaf, lemon, lime, fennel, star anise, coriander, bang. Parboil the potatoes. Whilst that's cooking, mayonnaise. Add mustard powder and white wine vinegar to the egg yolks. Whisk, whisk, whisk. Slowly add the olive oil. If you don't whisk it enough, it splits. Now, to the exciting part. A little bit of truffle oil. Two or three little drops. Beautiful. Lobster out. It's nice and straight, so it's a lot easier to slice. Slice the potatoes. Season and drizzle with olive oil. Soak the potatoes and give the lobster a blast of heat in the pan. Literally 30 seconds each side. That stops the lobster from becoming really chewy and enhances the flavour. Lightly dress a salad and serve. Five nice slices of potato, five nice medallions of lobster, a teaspoon of truffle mayonnaise on the potato. Finishing the salad with this baby. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. My God. It has to be the perfect dish for the last supper. A salad of potato, lobster, truffle mayonnaise and the most amazing fucking caviar.